Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, that means it's market outlook time. Let's take a look at what could happen this week on FIFA 21 with the market, the what if promo ending on Wednesday, more what if upgrades happening Wednesday, and of course, the promo that we could be seeing on Friday. Since this what if promo ends on Wednesday has a lot of people expecting a promo on Friday, I think people are selling their cards right now because of that expectation with two for one packs being a part of that promo on Friday. And of course, the yesterday market movements with the guaranteed what if SBC making a lot of people sell cards as well. So let's talk about that and talk about, again, I'm gonna start off with this what if stuff. Like what is gonna be happening with these what if cards that are in packs right now? Now, of course, as I'm recording this, we had squad battle rewards supply about an hour ago or two hours ago. And a lot of these cards have dropped off an extra, honestly, some of them 10%. Um, if I'm looking across, Mertens was like 990K. He's now 920. Richarlison was 1.5. He is now 1.39. Morales is under 1.1. Dalvin is down a lot. Ricardo Perea is down some. Diada is down. So some of these cards in packs and even the current team of the week have dropped off with supply from rewards. Um, that is adding tradable supply to this game. Now, of course, the market has been honestly destroyed, right? We are in the middle of a genuine market crash. If you look at a lot of these prices, Newhouse, 136, Bastoni, 186. A James is down 40,000 coins. Saka is down. Ruben Diaz is down. All of these cards are down on the market because a combination of panic selling because people wanted to do that guaranteed what if player pack SBC yesterday and I think people are starting to panic sell because they know that those two for one packs are in the code and they're going to be coming soon, probably this coming Friday. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But as for what's going on right now, Kulusevsky was 500,000 coins. He's now 430K. I think that with the panic selling this week, you will see some cards rebound a little bit. Teo Hernandez was 700K. He's already back to 750. Diego Carlos was 386. He's back to 400. Lozano was like 585, 90 this weekend, and he's 537. So there is a lot of selling on this market right now. There really is across the board, but there's also fluctuation, right? Joao Felix was 560 today. He's now 620. So there is... And, and also, talking about fluctuations like that, yes, that means you can trade in this market. I feel like that earlier, as I just sell a car right here, I sold another, I bought both of these Vardis for 437, 440,000 coins, sold at 470 for a quick flip profit. Not a lot of profit, but a nice little bit right there. There's stuff that is fluctuating on the market consistently and constantly, right? Icons are one of those things that even in the weekend league sell off, especially with these moments, People are going to be trying them out this week because that's something you can do on this week's game. And I think still with these these brand new what-if cards, they're moving around because people are trying them. I feel like the market's a bit more confident. Even though stuff is really low, there is potential to flip stuff because uh, these cards are rare. People want to try them out. And uh, like I bought these on Saturday night for 260 sold them obviously today on, or yesterday on Sunday for 300,000 coins. So a nice little flip right there on Thalvin. And I'm trying to do it again tonight with the reward supply. I bought Regulons at about 170, high 170s, low 180 for these three, trying to get 200K from him because he was 230, 240 all weekend. And he got kind of undercut and panic listed uh, because Spurs did not hold a clean sheet. So I'm also flipping icon moments. After I finished Weekend League, I got this El Matador at 1.19 or 1.18, I think. And right now he's about 1.3. So I, I should be able to get a nice, you know, 30, 40,000 coin flip out of this. But man, this guy is so fun to use. He's so good. The three-star weak foot, who cares? I've scored some bangers with this guy. Finishing off my Weekend League uh, tonight after I'm done recording this. But uh, again, back, back to this market, I do feel like... It is, we're in a market crash, but also there's there's still people that are trying trying out cards. And I do think that's going to make for a pretty solid trading week this week. Some of these really rare cards, look at these bids on Richarlison expiring. I didn't have enough coins to bid on this guy. He was literally 1.55. And this Richarlison has a game today on Monday, right? We have got Chelsea versus Everton. So we have active cards playing games. We have Leeds United versus West Ham. So you got the Rafinha SBC. There are two games today that could impact what if cards and possibly, well, probably not unless there's a lot of goals. But one of the things that's happening this week is there are a lot of upgrades coming to, to the what if market, right? You've got two new upgrades that happened over the weekend. You've got Pepe, you've got Leroy Fair, you've got Chris Smalling because they all held the clean sheets. You've got Marcelo that's getting an upgrade that was already slated to get one, right? Headliners Tavernier 
is getting one as well. So a lot of upgrades. And you also have guys like Sancho, who's one goal away from getting an upgrade too. A lot of upgrades are coming on Wednesday with these what-if cards. That's going to be interesting to watch. It's going to be fun to watch. Something to keep our eyes on, of course. But I think you're going to see some of these what-ifs. Of course, they are getting sold off right now, and they're getting supplied. I do think you'll see them bounce back a little bit because people seem to want to try some of these out, right? Talvin at 235. I'm getting very interested in that because he was literally 320 at one point today. They had a cup game, so I don't honestly think that it was just pure um, people thinking that he was going to score goals because people somewhat know that cup games don't count. So I'm kind of looking at Thalvin and Regulon to see if they bounce back and Richarlison and uh, Morales probably a little bit tonight as well just to see if they do uh, bounce back. But the rest of the market is just getting panic sold like crazy. Some of these cards are really, really taking a hit. But I, st I still do think there is some stuff that will rebound into the week this week. You're already seeing a bit of it. This one, all of them was 620 today. He's now 675 with Champions League and with Europa League games this week. I do think you'll see some of these cards bounce back with the Leroy Fair uh, card kind of coming onto the scene and getting that upgrade possible or going to an 87 on Wednesday. I'm kind of looking at this Quincy Promes card in the like the 130s. He was 130 flat earlier today. That was a really, really good price for this card. Uh, this guy was 160 when the Leroy Fair came out and he, on the weekend. So especially when that card gets upgraded, people are kind of I think right now people have sold a lot of their cards, and that's why you're seeing this market crash. People are selling for two reasons. Number one, because of that guaranteed what if pack that came yesterday. I think a lot of people took this gamble because people are just addicted to these sorts of packs. 170K is, you know, a value of an SBC that people just love to do because it's doable. 85 rated squad, they're used to doing SBCs right now. That's the hype on this game. Fodder rose, the higher amounts, higher levels of fodder rose. Um, 85s, 86s, 87s, because you needed an 85 rated squad for this. This stuff did go up a really high amount, it made fodder go up a really high amount. And uh, that is also what kind of caused some crash on the market, coupled with weekly sell off and people expecting two for one packs. Now that's what I wanna talk about a little bit at the end, what's coming on Friday, because there's a lot of hype surrounding that, but focusing on what is happening in the next day or two, today on Monday, I'm, I'm really expecting kind of a quiet content day, I really am. I think there's a possibility that they would release maybe the mid icon SBC again, or they maybe switch it to like a mid or prime repeatable pack, or a, I don't know if they'll do like a prime icon repeatable pack, but, um, we do not have a repeatable icon SBC that is out right now. I don't know if EA is not going to release one if they want to keep it that way, but that might be something I could see coming today or maybe a player SBC uh, since they really love putting out these what if player SBCs. They put out a lot of them. So I'm not sure if today on Monday is going to be like a, a hype content day or if it's going to be a quiet one. Obviously, last Monday, we had the big mid or prime player pick pack that, that came out uh, and it has not expired yet, but I doubt we'll get a I don't really think EA is going to try to crash the market even more right now. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I think today might be a quieter Monday. We'll see what happens, what EA have up their sleeve. Um, but especially into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week, with the What If promo ending, maybe we get one more player SBC or two, a couple What If Challenge SBCs. And then other than that, I feel like the What If stuff is going to kind of sizzle off. We have some Champions League stuff to talk about as well. You'll have UEFA marquee matchups, of course, coming out this week. And again, just mentioning these road to the finals, especially for guys that have games on Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, today, first on Monday, we've got Chelsea Everton, Leeds, West Ham. So you've got a couple what-if cards, Conte, Richarlison, and Rafinha, potential upgrades with goals being scored in those games. So keep an eye out Richarlison for sure. But I'm looking at guys like Dortmund, Sevilla, Juventus, and FC Porto. I, I, I want to look at these these cards, right? Even PSG Barcelona. I know Barcelona are down 4-1 to one on aggregate, and I know Leipzig are down, uh, what, 2-0 to zero on aggregate as well. But still, keep an eye on some of these rope to the final cards because that is where the hype is going to be at this week a little bit. Like I'm Griezmann, I think, last night, um, even though Barcelona are in the mud, right? They're down 4-1, and it's not looking likely. This Griezmann road to the final card is probably going to fluctuate up a little bit. He's even up right now. He was like 260 earlier today. 
People are eyeing this stuff, of course, as the games come. You're going to see more fluctuations with these cards, and we're probably going to be trading them later this week because that's where the hype is going to be, right? Especially with the market being crashing and being a little bit dead right now, in a sense, you want to stick around the cards that are hype. If you're trying to trade with special cards or if you're trying to make coins right now on this game, you want to try to stick with the cards that are hype. Icon moments are pretty hype right now because people are trying these cards out. They're having fun playing games with these new cards that got pretty big boosts. And there's a lot of hype around these moments cards, right? The new what if cards, there's a lot of hype around these. People buy them before their upgrades um, or buy, their, buy them before they could possibly get, wow, 133, is that sitting? Oh my goodness, that's really low for a Charleston. Goodness me. Anyways, these are hype right now. Road to the finals are gonna be hyped in the midweek. Uh, and of course, there's gonna be a, a lot of questioning and a lot of, you know, well, before we get to the questioning about the promo, there's there's just hype about SBC fodder as well. You're going to be able to fluctuation trade SBC fodder because right now, as I'm looking at SBCs on this game, fodder has dropped a little bit with uh, the rewards that have come out because uh, the messy SBC was like 2.2 million coins earlier today, and it is now only 2.01. You can see he was like 2.2 almost after the content drop today because of the spike of SBC fodder. And now, of course, it is back down. So maybe you look at your higher rated fodder tonight and see if it rises back up into the week a little bit as people are, are working on the player of the month messy, which I think a lot of people are doing messy because it's close enough to the team of the year. And uh, it's a lot cheaper. It's literally half the price of the team of the year. And that is something a lot of people are interested in. A lot of people are doing that SBC. So again, for this market this week, I'm going to be sticking to either fluctuation trading on the fodder side of things, trading with icon moments, trading with out-of-pack special cards that are very rare, what if, and road to the final items. Even though the market seems like it's crashing and it seems pretty dead, I think there are going to be ways to make coins this week because um, we we will, well, back to the road to the final items for a second, we will see upgrades to road to the final items on Friday night of this week because there will be some cards that will be completing their first stage, the round of 16, and they'll be moving on to, to the next round and that will guarantee them another upgrade. So whatever teams advance in the second leg will get an upgrade on Friday night. So from the games this week, of course, you've got PSG, Barcelona, Liverpool, Leipzig, and you've got Borussia Dortmund and Sevilla, Juventus and FC Porto. So the live items from those teams would be the ones that we're going to look at this week. Then, of course, Europa League first leg coming on the Thursday of this week. There won't be any upgrades to Europa League items um, until the next week uh, because, of course, there's two different legs uh, for those games. And then, of course, it comes after they advance to the next round. So the only upgrades now for all road to the final cards will happen after a team advances to the next round of the tournament. No more like first leg upgrades or anything like that. So just to kind of put that out there, um, that's kind of what's going on in this market right now with the different sectors, right? People are trying icon moments. They're trying out new what if cards, which is why I'm sort of interested in Thalvin tonight, uh, getting as low as he, he is because he was 100K up from where he was. And yes, this market is dead and it's crashing, but people are still trying out the new cards. So that's why we try to stick to the hyped up areas that are on this game. 235, man, this is really, really cheap for a French cam with decent stats. So we'll see if he bounces back into the morning at all. Now, I want to talk about, again, why there is some panic selling, not just because of that SBC that came out yesterday, but because of this that was shown by Footwatch yesterday. Now, this is what people are calling Foot Player Days. This promo was dropped last year as well at the beginning of March, and they did two for one packs at that time. And I think right now, part of the weekend league sell-off and part of the, the prices dropping across this game that were pretty substantial, the reason why you saw that, or one of the reasons why you saw that, uh, 258 for Mbappe, 319, 990, 475, crazy low prices on a lot of these rare cards. The reason why I think you're seeing some of that is because of that pack code that was added for two for one packs being added to the game. And of course, people know that when two for one packs come, people are gonna start opening packs with coins, which drains coins off the market because nine times out of 10, when you're opening save, when you're opening packs with coins, even or FIFA points, um, you're not making your money back. But especially with coins, if you're putting 100,000 coins down to open a 100K pack, even though you may get one back, EA turn the pack weight down. They know what they're doing when they drop two for one packs. The pack weight is not good, right? They're not going to give you good packs when they're giving you two packs for the price of one. They're not going to give you a good weight. So you're just going to see tons and tons of supply with the two for one packs coming out. 
And I think that's what people are worried about right now. And they're selling cards because of that. So last year, this was the promo that we got called the Foot 20 Player Days. They dropped Conmi Bowl, Libertadores, Man of the Match, and base items in packs. And I don't know if you remember like the Conmi Bowl, Libertadores, like promo team, if you will. Um, they dropped like that Tevez card, the Salvio. Uh, there were some decent cards, but it was overall just kind of an L of a promo. But SBC Fodder got destroyed that weekend. So I think people are in preparation for a lot of the market to go down um, because of that promo, what the two for one packs could do for the market. So I'm a little bit curious to see how the market reacts this week. If it is a bit quiet and there's just people seem to be detached maybe from the game a bit um, because they're waiting for that two for one pack promo to kind of come out. Now, instead of this year, I don't know if they're going to do the Conmi Bowl stuff, but they could do a best of, right? They've done this before in previous FIFAs as well, where they will drop some of the best of promo cards or best of team of the week cards back into packs to entice people to make them want to even open those two for one packs. Uh, so you maybe have guys like a select group of these rule breakers that could come back into packs or a select group of like team of the week cards. You know, back in the, was it summer heat or, you know, back in the summer days of FIFA 20, they did multiple different types of um, what they call them like batches, right? With special cards coming back into packs to make people want to open packs. That could be happening this week as well. And I think that's why you're seeing some sell off is because people might be looking forward to that or expecting that. So this week could be a really, really interesting week. There's a lot going on with the potential promo on the weekend with the market in shambles and crashing the way that it is, but still potential to trade because people are on the game, trying icon moments, doing swaps, doing objectives and also doing SBC. So there's, there's a, honestly, there's kind of a lot to do right now. And it feels like from a market perspective, there's a lot to talk about. So um, hopefully in this little market outlook video, we covered a lot of what you guys were wanting to know and what to talk about today. I feel like I covered all the bases, right? We have big time upgrades for what is coming on Wednesday. And we'll dive into a lot of this stuff even more as we head into the week. Um, but you know, I don't think you have to be scared about trading cards this week. I, I do feel like you know, there is going to be a little bit of panic maybe each day right before 6 p.m. UK time with the content drop. That's pretty normal. Um, if you have any, of course, league games that are happening throughout the week, I don't know if there are many on like Tuesday. Uh, no, Wednesday, I think there was a Premier League game. Uh, you've got Sassuolo, Juventus, and Napoli playing in the series. You've got Sevilla playing midweek on, on Wednesday uh, in the the. Oh, sorry, it's a wrong week. Never mind. Whoops. JK, you've got Manchester City Southampton playing in the midweek on Wednesday. Um, and you've got the rest of it's just mostly. You've got Bilbao playing in the week. So Berchiche, potential what if upgrade there. Um, a League One game, it looks like. So there's Levante playing on Friday. So it's kind of a weird week in terms of we're kind of waiting for this promo of the potential buy one, get one free the foot player days. There'll probably be a lot more like leaks and speculation for that stuff across the week this week. Now, one thing somebody was asking is, could they drop any other big SBCs? I don't know if you'll see it. I feel like the second week for promos for like team two or whatever is always a bit more quiet, right? This Malakui SBC kind of overpriced. Joe Hart actually just pretty overpriced too. I was originally thinking I might do it for my team. Probably not, but maybe we get one more guaranteed what if player, if not, you know, maybe Tuesday, potentially Wednesday, that would be like our last chance. I don't, I don't think they would drop it two days in a row, but I really feel like it might be kind of a quieter week. You know, it just maybe EA did that really, really big content week last week and this week they'll keep it kind of slower. We'll have to find out and see. Honestly, there's a lot of question marks on this week, um, but whatever you like to do for trading, there's plenty of options. Honestly, the what if cards are going to move around with some panic selling with potential upgrades and stuff like that with supply. And people wanting to try them out. Of course, Icon Moments. SBC Fodder is a great place to trade. But if you have like cards in your team that you're seeing are super duper down in price. I mean, we've got Neymar at 540k. Ronaldo is down almost 200,000 coins. And Bappe is 685. People are selling these cards because they think they're going to be in packs. And they're expecting a big market crash when those two for one packs do come out. So that's why you're seeing a lot of the crash right now is just selling for that and that guaranteed uh, what if pack SBC, SBC that came out yesterday. So that's kind of an update on the market outlook this week and why the market is crashing. I want to kind of get into that. So of course, we're going to take it day by day this week with the uploads and look and see what happens with what content EA drop. Because again, a lot if a lot of people have sold off, then people are looking for prices to drop and people are looking to buy back. So 
Uh, we'll talk about what the two for one pack supply could mean for every single card in the game, fodder all the way up to icons later this week for sure. Uh, but for right now, it's kind of just like we're sitting and chilling and waiting for EA to either drop some content or to drop a little bit of nothing so that we can just know what's gonna happen to the market this week. That's why I feel like this market outlook is just kind of all over the place because we're really waiting on EA to see what they could do uh, with the content. But 100% for sure, this is a market crash and we are seeing a lot of prices that are down uh, because people honestly are interested in SBCs mostly right now in this game. So that's the market outlook for this week. If you guys enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Thank you.